Alrighty. This will be the part, not part two. This will be the episode two, uh, number two, part one of, I guess, now called the Derelict series. I don't know. I don't know what to call this yet. But, um, we are at the Burlington Missile Factory, originally known as the Western Electrics Missile Factory, and they actually worked on some big shit here. Like, uh, they worked on the Hercules AC-130 aircraft engine. They also worked on a, uh, I think it was a Cerberus missile or some shit like that. And... Yeah. This place is eviscerated, as you can see. It, uh... It, it had been... It was opened up during World War II and constructed just about all the way uh, through the Cold War. Ended around the 70s and then it was turned into something else because it was bought out by General Electric and then they took the shit and basically left. I think. My history may not be accurate. Don't go by me. Just look the stuff up if you think it's interesting. But uh... But yeah, this, I, I don't know what this place was turned into afterwards and what closed it down, but there are some things here that I have no knowledge on. But it's still pretty gas. It, um, it's a huge expanse. That there is the center building. We are inside one of the uh, crescent-shaped buildings that kind of dot this uh, three-building complex. There's three huge column-like buildings, and then there's multiple small buildings in between. There's even an air, or a water filtration, oh. a water filtration, uh, I think there's like a pin here. you have to pull on it or something. I'm sure it's already been pulled and used. Ooh. Yeah, also, probably. you get to meet the new characters, hey. Cody and Jake. <laughs> 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 Never. That's going in the video. What I just said isn't going in the video. But what <laughs> you you said is now <laughs> this is not going. In. <laughs> this building is directly next to a road, by the way. A very busy road in Burlington, uh, South Graham Street or North Graham Street, I believe. Is this North Graham Hope? Hopedale Graham Road. Hopedale. It's like South Hopedale. South something. Hopedale Graham Road. Something hey, along the lines of that. Yeah, but they've, like, look at this. This is a weight system for this platform here. Yeah. God, I wonder how heavy and this shit they're weighing. Oh, look. It, <laughs> Woo Damn, we weigh a lot. One pound. Damn, y'all fat. Yo, dog, this thing goes to 10,000 fucking pounds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn. So, and they expect it to be higher than fucking, uh, 9,100. Or 9,000. <laughs> Pounds, whatever. Nine thousand pounds to ten thousand pounds. That's what that's what their estimation was with their shit. Now we are between the middlemost building, call it large facility. Then there's the third facility, and this one holds office spaces as well as storage. That building right there is a water filtration system. Over here holds records and shit. But unfortunately, or no, it actually holds spare parts for the plumbing and stuff hey, for over here. Yeah? I heart your mom. <laughs> no. But uh, that holds spare parts for that water filtration system. There's another water tower there. Don't know what's in that building to the furthest most. And then there's, remember, the water right tower there. back there. And also on the other side of the complex is this tower. It's a... Uh, it's a very, very large area, and this will be a two-parting video, more than likely. Mostly because this place is so damn big, we're going to be here till night, dog. And uh, I guess the video will be ended right about when we have lunchtime. We'll get to see us eat lunch and shit. And afterwards, we will... Uh, there's the sewer. To crawl through it. I bet the there's Shawshank Redemption time. I bet there's shit down there. I guarantee it. Oh, for sure. Creepy. Look how busy that road is. Let's probably get away from that. 
We have is that a shotgun shell. Yeah. Oh, that is a nice. shotgun shell. Oh my god. It's a 12 gauge shotgun shell. Huh. What do you know? Empty uh, casing. Look at all this tape. Yeah, that's, that was fired that doesn't, here. Hmm. Huh. It's too clean to be shot or fired though. No, it looks fired. Oh well, yeah, but like typically there's soot on the bottom of it. Not a not a ton. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I guess it depends off. on what shot you're shooting. If you're shooting an old one, probably. <laughs> You've been recorded on video <laughs> saying you want to take an object. How dare I you? Say, I, how want dare you. I didn't say I was. Do not take things. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's engage the light. Go into the uh, fucking nightmare mode, Christian. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is a very dark area. What's area? Oh yeah, are we in the air quality looking like in Texas? Uh, probably alright, but because I was here before. A little while, a little while back, um, here. a couple weeks ago, and it's pretty, pretty clean and big expanses. It's really just underground and a lot of machinery you got to worry about. Police tape. Yeah, there's a lot of that here. Oh, my voice cracked. There's, a little, there's still things here that show. Signs of graffiti, yeah, but this is dark. there are definitely yeah. areas where people have not explored out of, I don't know, probably the spook factor. Hey, look, the floor is like, I don't know, I step on it. No, don't step through that, that is ceiling. Looks like concrete, but it's still ceiling. Yeah. This might have been like the, uh, the overseer's office. It's so dark that not even the uh, night vision can detect it. Hey, Christian, yeah. you leave this out of the video, but uh, I'm going to be saying that a lot. But you should make like transitions for every time we go to a new area and make it like like fallout when you discover locations and update some of the pit boy. Yes. We, you should do that. That'd I will cool. do that. I'm keeping that in the Be video. Overseer's factory. Or overseer's office, whatever. I'll have no. like, I have little <laughs> labels for like what the rooms seem to be. It won't be 100% accurate because I'm not accurate about anything. Yeah. But yeah, it's still cool to look at these things. Hmm? I ain't a historian. <laughs> so everything I say could be legend. You know, you know. So that's why I say to look things up that I say. See if I'm right or wrong. Jake, this goes up to the fucking roof. What the fuck? That's amazing. Dude, if we could somehow and then like over there power goes up to the place. roof of that roof. <laughs> like they are. I wonder how many people work. And they are pretty, uh... Oh my god, my arm's tired for carrying that. Jesus. Is this why cameramen always have really strong right arms? Yes. Or is it because they, uh... <laughs> yeah, that don't get into the roof. That's nice to know. So now we have a direct way without having to go through the building. Oh, that. <laughs> we just have to restore power. Find a view or something. Yeah, oh, this, yeah. this area is pretty sick. It'd be a good place to skate. Not advertising this place as a place to skate. <laughs> but it's totally sick. It's open. There's a lot of trash to run through around and over. Oh my god, that is a big fucking bird. It Where? was a huge black bird out there, dude. It looked like the size of a like a like a big hawk, dude. Which it was massive. What was it, a buzzard? No, it wasn't Yo. a buzzard. It's a mercury thermometer. Yeah, it has mercury in it. <laughs> Want to break it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Throw it at something. We'll be good. Because the red is the mercury, I think. I don't remember. No, the red is what 
The red is what's pushed up because of the mercury. It right. could just be alcohol, though. This has mercury on the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my God. This place is old, bro. This is the back, the leftmost building from a semi far away. Oh, shit. I nearly tripped over something. <laughs> This is so severely unprofessional. I'm not afraid of a lot of the things that happen. Did it work? No. It don't work. It don't work. <laughs> What's this? More overlook spot? Maybe. I haven't been back over here. Ooh, interior. Usually it's so dark you don't want to come back here. <laughs> yeah. It, the uh, behind that cool fence though is there. that other factory that uh, is still running. Just for a few seconds, so we could power Even the cables have been taken from the telephone poles here. Here's the inside of the building that's behind the big, the big left, big rightmost building. You can hear dogs. I think that's an actual business over there. It is. Oh. Follow up shelter. Who knows? This is definitely not the follow up shelter, but it's definitely something akin to it. More than likely underground. This is the women's. As you can see. Are you guys up to date on your tetanus? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm not, so. Yo. I'm, I'm over and of course the fucking mail bathroom's junk to shit. This mail bathroom's fucked up. Yeah. We don't treat our bathrooms with any mercy. It's always spooky just seeing follow-up shelter right there. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that goes down oh, to yeah. the crawl space like machinery area. I don't want to go down there. I think that'd be terrifying. <laughs> There's a lot of junk in the way as well. Man, that bird I saw was fucking huge, boys. Yeah? Yeah, it's fucking massive. It wasn't a buzzer either. It was fucking like a little like a big black. It may have been a raven instead of a crow or a buzzard. I don't know. It looked too big to be a raven. No, nah, raven are bigger than crows. Raven this are the thing big boys. It was boys. like eagle looking, bro. Like it was falcon. Could have been some kind of falcon. I don't know. Those are rare to see, but. It did have a very, like, hawk type head, you know what I mean? This video is going to become quite long, but the main forecast for our navigational direction will be just looking up and down each and every building. But since we are closest to, since we're closest to the middlemost building as well as the area where we will eat lunch, we'll probably go. We'll we'll probably head towards the middle building. And then look through that, and then whenever it hits close to sundown, that is where we'll end the first video with us eating lunch. Well, dinner-ish. Food. Food. Yeah. <laughs> Day food. I don't know, I think it'd be cool to climb the tower, but that's... that's It'd yeah, be sus, and plus people table. would see us too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Chalk your trailer. Huh. Chalk it good. Chalk it. God, I have such a shaky hand. I'm so sorry for you viewers who get motion sickness. And I also apologize for being severely apologetic. Notice. 
Building number 27. Who am I fighting? Oh, it's an arena. Place your bets, folks. Oh, shit. <laughs> No hits for <laughs> Cody wins by default. That was cool. You lost the cool. Okay, if we held a fight club, it'd be right there. Delete that. <laughs> nah, First nah, rule about nah. Hey, y'all want to go back up in there? Yeah. What about down there? Ooh. Down there literally leads to a cement surrounding room. It's terrifying. It's like a cube. It's legit like a cube of concrete. Actually, that's probably a good thing to show people. You have to pass by a little pond as well. Damn. Water bottle been lost. But look at that. Focus, please. Mm. There we go. Where are you going in? It's a dead end. Go! Oh my god. What is this room? I think power on the side of some of the here. And it had power to it as well. There's lights. There's only a couple holes in the walls that have been boarded up. Oh my god, the noise is ricocheted so severely. We're talking about so much shit that can do us the A lot of this will be cut out. Legit, a lot of this will just be cut out. So, like, this video will probably, despite the fact that I have like a full hour left, which is going to happen after it hits dark, which I may end this whenever we leave the office buildings and then just turn it on and say, hey, we came back, we're getting lunch, just hitting something down, let's get. may keep that in the second video. It may be the plan. This is very improvisational, by the way. I've never been a cameraman before, nor have I been a narrator for everything that I fucking say. It's such a shit, but yeah, we can take it. <laughs> this place gives the most Blair Witch, no, mechanical. It's a big hump of metal. I want to check that out. It's so big, dude. Look how fucking massive that is. That must be like a plane part. I'm gonna set my bag down. Yeah. Oh, Let me see what's through this door. Alright. Well, go ahead and take your breaks, folks. Because recording will be ending now. Come back after the break. <laughs>